Anthony Davis did not play. Both injured still. Lakers five and seven without those guys around. Uh, former Laker, Julius Randle. Seven of 11 from the floor, 19 points in the first half. You want to get really nerdy. Yeah. 16 points came off the dribble. Uh, Knicks were up by three at the break. Randall hit them all over the place in the second half, too. Knicks are up. Randall has it. And then he doesn't. And then he does. And then he does that. Right at the buzzer. Recovers the ball. Hits the jumper as the shot clock's firing. Knicks up by 12. Very next possession. Derrick Rose. Inside, Venmo Randall, light a three. He had 26 through three quarters. Knicks are up 13 now. Fourth quarter, Randall backing on in. The shot chart must have been fun. All over the place. Next possession, Randall, but you crank one from a long two. Goes for 34, 10 boards, four assists. Nine of 13 made field goals. The newly acquired Dennis Schroeder said he intends to start at point guard for the defending champs. The Lakers have not settled upon their starting lineup. Sources told ESPN that Schroeder would consider uh, they would consider him starting at the point guard spot. He also could be asked to fill in off the bench. Sources have said that as well. Max, I'll start with you here. How much pressure is on the Lakers to repeat? I think there's more Max pressure on the Lakers the this season. Yeah, I didn't hear either. I'm Max. sorry. I'm assuming you said me, but I don't know. Max. Go ahead, Max. Max. Go ahead, Max. Because Stephen A. didn't. Okay. All right. I, I think there's more pressure on the Lakers to start uh, this season, to, to win this season, than there was last season. Like, do you remember before last season, that survey of GMs, right? I think it was right before the season started. It was late October or November. At who is the most likely to win? GMs, right? So they survey 30 GMs. It's all the GMs in the league. And they ask... Who is most likely to win the championship? These people, their living is dependent on knowing this kind of stuff, of evaluating talent. Number one was the Clippers. Number two was the Bucks. Lakers finished a distant third. They turned out to be wrong. But the perception was going in, the Lakers may not win it this season. And, and, and why not? Like, this is the third time LeBron has formed a super team in a location. The first time is he went to Miami. Dwayne Wade and Chris <laughs> Bott. And then Miller and all these guys. Yeah, we want to play there too. They lost the championship year one. They got there, but they lost. Same thing happened in Cleveland. Oh, they got, they got Kyrie and the number one pick. They can flip Wiggins into Kevin Love. I'll go to Cleveland. There's another super team. Year one, he lost. True, everyone got hurt, but he still, he didn't win the championship year one. LeBron usually figures that out year two because you got to get the details just right. It's hard just to throw guys together and have them win a championship. So I would say the expectation among most who knew was not that the Lakers would win, yet they did. But how about this season, guys? What's the expectation now? A lot of people would say the number one and number two players in the world are both on the Lakers. They just won the championship, and I think everyone agrees they improved at least on paper in the offseason. Montrez Harrell and, 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 and Schroeder and Mark Gasol. So, yeah, there's more pressure now, especially, Stephen A., as you know. You spent enough time in L.A. and have covered the league long enough and have been alive long enough to know. Lakers fans, ooh, they get greedy. You know, the reason they want to win a championship is because you can't repeat or three-peat without winning the first one. Now they expect it. So do the odds makers, and I think there's more pressure than ever right now. Well, for me personally, when I think about when I think about three Pete, that's the only time that I'm interested in applying any kind of pressure to LeBron James at this stage and point in his career. He's never done that in his career. He won back to backs in Miami. He won one in Cleveland. He won one with the Los Angeles Lakers. But he's never three peated like Jordan. He's never three peated like Kobe. And so because of that, I would like to see that. I don't think that will happen. But then again, you never know with the arsenal that they've put forth. The bottom line is I don't think there's as much pressure on the Los Angeles Lakers to quote-unquote repeat outside of that. I think there's pressure on LeBron James to win another chip before he departs from L.A. since he'll have Anthony Davis. Uh, and, and by the way, speaking of Anthony Davis, congratulations to Clutch Sports and Anthony Davis. I don't know why the hell they're in the news for him not signing. It's a two-year deal, it's a three-year deal, or it's a four-year deal. Either way you slice it, you're getting the max. What the hell is all the drama about? Sign the damn contract. Yeah, just tell them what you are want. you really leaving Southern? Are, are you really leaving Southern California to go to to windy the windy city of Chicago or to the New York Knicks under Dolan Max Kellerman? I mean, is there really some suspense as to where <laughs> Anthony Davis is going to go? But they're in the news. I mean, so hey, you know, more power to Rich Paul and Clutch Sports. Major props to them. He's been doing a good job. Here's the bottom line. 
at the end of the day, when you look at all the moves that the Lakers made, certainly they're the favorites, they're the prohibitive favorites. But, Max, I was of the mindset, if you remember, I said the Lakers had to win last year. I'm not trying to say there's no pressure because, of course, there's pressure. I'm saying there was more last year than now. The reason why is because I firmly believed if they had lost last year and somebody else say the Clippers had knocked them off, all right, or God forbid Denver, okay, then what would have happened was it would have been that much harder for them to ultimately overcome, you know, get over the hump because there would have been even more pressure to bear on LeBron and Anthony Davis. They would not have won together. Everybody would have been like, what's up, what you going to do? Meanwhile, those other teams knew how to win. But the fact that that has not happened and the Lakers ended up handling their business in relatively dominant fashion, I might add, the bottom line is because they handled their business the way that they did and they won the chip and they already know how to win together and they've gotten that off. Now they could just go and play basketball, made the best team win. They should be it again, this pressure because oh. they're the prohibitive favorite. But it's nothing compared to what it was last year because if they had not won last year, it would have been significantly more pressure this season and beyond. But, but, but the reason is, see, I, I think there's a problem with that kind of thought experiment. The reason that, that there's more pressure now is because they didn't lose to the Clippers. They never met the Clippers. They didn't lose to the Nuggets. They didn't lose to anyone. And Stephen A., the truth is, they never really came close, brother. They, they never really came close. That was kind of an easy championship win. Not the end winning any championship is easy. But they we've seen teams easy. get to they a nail-biter game seven along the way, right? Right. They made it look easy. Could someone even take them to a game seven? No. No. That was like Jordan on the Bulls type stuff, right? Like, oh, y'all can't even take this dude to a game seven? It, those might be the two best players in the world. So the fact that we now know that, that they were that much better than the rest of basketball last season – and we all believe they got better, but we don't look at any other team and say, see that team right there? That team was knocking on the door, and they just took a giant step forward. We don't think that about the Clippers. You may think they got marginally better or marginally worse. The Bucks got a little better, but they didn't even get out of the East. Did the Heat get better? Maybe if certain guys improve because they're getting a little older. But no one. We don't see anyone on the – you know, it's not like the Nuggets acquired some major star or something like that. We're like, okay, now what are they going to do? So for that reason, there's more pressure well, now because we know what the Lakers are supposed to do. The expectations are higher. Well, again, I disagree. I mean, because the, the expectations are higher because we're looking at them and some of the moves that they made, and they're the prohibitive favorites. But I look at Denver. One could argue that there's addition by subtraction. Even though we all like Jeremy Grant and he can ball, the fact that he's going to be gone, Barton's going to come back, but you've got Michael Porter Jr. That's expected. Going to repeat. CIAA champions. I mean, Winston-Salem State. They're the reigning defending champions right there. Let me just say that. Will LeBron le repeat? I would tell you he's the favorite, but I got kind of scared for him watching Kyrie, KD, and James Harden last night. I must confess that. I got kind of scared for, for LeBron and whether or not he's going to repeat with that offensive juggernaut in Brooklyn. It remains to be seen, but at this moment in time, the Lakers are the favorite as they should be. Um, I'm not scared about the Nets for this year for LeBron. Next year, maybe. I mean, I think they're going to have to get to be a much, much better defensive team to take out the Lakers. I'll say this. The Le LeBron James' Lakers, LeBron and AD's Lakers, are the only team in the NBA that are all three of these things. Absolutely elite offensively, absolutely elite defensively, and can be trusted on in the big moments, can be trusted in the big moments. They have all three of those things, and they're the only team like that they're going to repeat as champions. Okay, last one here, guys. This is from Anastasia uh, Morrison, a member of the Rams softball team. Anastasia? My question for you, Stephen A. Smith, is do you think Steph Curry will be able to take the Warriors back to the NBA Finals? Yes. Perfect. Yes. I got it. I got it. Yes, and more yes. The greatest shooter ever seen 
in the human race, the greatest shooter in all of mankind, Steph Curry. Once he gets Klay Thompson back, a top five shooter ever in the game as far as I'm concerned. Yes, the Golden State Warriors, before all is said and done, will not only get back to the NBA Finals eventually, they will win another championship, probably a couple of more. If LeBron's got four going for five, Jordan's got six, Kobe Bryant, God rest his soul, had five, I think Steph Steph Curry and Klay Thompson and Draymond Green and the crew are going for five championships. It wouldn't surprise me at all. I definitely expect them to win at least one, probably two, eventually. I think it's possible that they win another championship. In fact, I bet money on it. They're good. They're not done winning. They're going to win one more championship. They have a great front office. Steph Curry is an all-time great. Klay Thompson, as you mentioned, Stephen A., is one of the greatest shooters in history and, when he's healthy, a great two-way player. Draymond Green has revolutionized the game along with Steph as much as anyone other than Steph. Huh? I think they got one more in him. I'll just remind everyone, they were lucky to win one before KD got there. Whatever. They were lucky to get by LeBron one time because Kyrie and Kevin Love and got hurt. Mm. And they still went six games. That was, they were lucky. And I'll remind Stephen you of A., this, man. They're good. They got one more in him, not more. I remind you of this. James Wiseman is only a rookie. This brother playing in the middle alongside Draymond Green, he is no Andrew Bogut or Jaja Pajulia. James Wiseman is a different shoot. animal. And when he is there, shooting 40% from three-point range, by the way, when he he's there like with Draymond and no the crew, and you, the got Steph, and you got Steph and Clay. yes, they can win.